So we have some more cards from Supercharged Breaker, the Japanese set, which will be half of the English set Surging Sparks. And we're starting off with the Cerulege AR, which will be an IR in English. Absolutely stunning card. If you guys haven't watched the new Horizons anime, uh, this Pokemon is pretty heavily featured by the like bad guys in the show. On top of it, just honestly, being a cool-looking Pokemon, and I'm just going to say this is pretty, pretty stunning artwork. Um, beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful. This is a, a pretty big banger uh, of an AR for this set. It, it, just first impressions. Uh, absolutely, absolutely stunning. Uh, love this card. Everything about it. Um, we'll take a look at... The other cards real quick. So here's the uh, got the other version here. And we got the Armor Rouge. And the Charcadet. So yeah, to going from those cards to this. Dang. Um, yeah, this card, this card is going to do well. This is going to do well. Um, I'm not talking competitively. I'm just talking artwork-wise. This is going to be, it's going to be a success right here. Um, Stunning looking card. We also got some other cards revealed. We're getting there. I'm, I just wanted to give this card, you know, it's kind of its time to shine. But then we have, this is the Hydreigon. Um, it's not full screening on here for some reason on Poke Beach, so I do apologize for that. But this card, so this is an SAR. This card is pretty amazing. Uh, Artwork-wise, I know that there's there's um, some of the community that is kind of divided around the uh the crowns here but i think with this card okay i'm trying to imagine what this card is going to look like in person so if you guys aren't familiar like a lot of these cards once you see them like they just pop they're amazing in person i'm talking like the like the gold cards from crown zenith like the these rainbow cards like they're so nice in person like these little scans or pictures never do it justice and man this card is, I can tell, is going to be really stunning looking. So, super cool. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on this one as well. So, we have another SAR, once again, which will be an SIR in English. I hate that they changed the terminology. Uh, but this one will be tough to pull because this set is going to be big. So, you can see this is, see where this set is at in Japanese? 106 normal cards. Yeah, we're gonna, I think it's well over 200 for English, which means uh, at the current pull rates, this is going to be very difficult to pull. And this is... Artwork wise, kind of a banger of a card, so uh, I really like it. Let me know what you guys think about the Cerulege and the Hydreigon. Uh, let me know in the comments. I, I want to, I want to know what you guys think. Love it, hate it, man. Let me know, because uh, not everyone, not everyone likes every card, and I think it's good to get um, some conversations going in the comments. So, um, but yeah, I, I'm loving everything about this card. The the crowns, my opinion on the crowns is, I, I don't love them, but they don't really bother me. Uh, they, they did more at first, so I'm kind of getting used to them. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm seeing past the crowns at, at this point. So the crowns are here to stay. It's not really bothering me. So yeah, uh, stunning card. Uh, we'll take a look at a few other cards that were announced at the same time as this one. Some of these were announced. Uh, I was going to put this in yesterday's video, but uh, anyways, didn't make it. But Mouse Hold, Tandem Mouse, we got the Coffin. Coffin with hands, and we got the the mask, Gastrodon. It's kind of a cool card for a basic card. Chin Pao, cool looking Pokemon, cool looking card. Shellos. So that is what we got there, and then there's a few other cards. So this is the Vivillion. This card is pretty adorable. So this is an AR or an IR for English. I think it's a cool looking card. Yeah, you know, it's it's not like. It's not like anything crazy, but I do think it's adorable. Probably won't. It'll be probably lower down on the value wise, you know, but I do think that it's a cool looking card. If I pulled this card, I wouldn't be disappointed. Uh, obviously, between that and this, I'd rather pull this, but uh, I wouldn't be disappointed if I pulled this. So uh, when you've got a Villian and a Cerulege in the same same type of card, like that's a little bit unfortunate, but um, it's a cool card. They can't all be, you know, like cool like this is 
This is more like cool and I would say like badass style where a lot of the cards have been from the Scarlet and Violet era, which I don't hate. They've been cutesy like this. Like this is cutesy. I don't think there's anything wrong with cutesy, but uh, you need to balance it out with some badass stuff. So um, yeah, so the pavilion's cool. Um, we also got, this is the regular pavilion here. Super adorbs on the on the artwork. He looks so happy. Um, we got the spupa. Spupa there. And the scatterbug. So there you go. So those are some of the basic cards that have been released. And we got a few more on here. Um, these were released um, as well. We got the Coridon, which I think this is a kind of a cool, cool art card. Uh, it'd be nice to see maybe like a full art version or something, but uh, uncommon here, um, Coridon, and then we have the Maridon, the legendary is getting some love here. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, these came out on October 7th at 3 a.m., <laughs> just these two. It's funny how sometimes like what gets released. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's, uh, we're going to just pop back to this guy for a minute, the Cerulege. Um, yeah. It's going to give it just a bit more attention. Um, we're going to go back to... We're going to do a little comparison game here. And we are going to um, look at the Pikachu again. And the Milotic. First, the Milotic. Sorry, I forgot I had this pulled up. I wanted to give the Milotic some more love. I did not give this card enough love in the video when we talked about it before. This is an SAR. This is a stunning card. I... Are, like... If I'm being honest, I like this card more than the Pikachu, uh, artwork-wise. Just, I don't think that's hard to say. But uh, I, uh, some people were saying uh, Milotic Chase card. I could see why that would be some people's Chase card, but I think um, the popularity of Pikachu it's going to be, and it will, we'll we'll get to the Pikachu. But beautiful card. I just wanted it to get some more attention. It deserved more attention, so here it is. My low tick. Um, so we'll go back to the Pikachu just for a minute. Because um, I wanted to talk about this. I do think it's important. So we got this guy. This is the Secret Rare, the SR. And it's a it's a nice looking card. You would think, and this is some of the comments I'm addressing, that the differences between this guy and then this guy, that they would have been a little bit more different. And... I, I under, totally understand people's perspectives, but just the thing that you guys need to kind of understand is one, the popularity of Pikachu and the rarity of this card. If the pull rates are the same, because this is a massive set, this card will be extremely difficult to pull. And I, I mean, I do, I do like the rainbow, what, what it's got going on. I, I, I do wish it was different. More like the Milotic or the Cerulege, like artwork-wise. It's not different enough from this card, but I think that the rarity, the rarity of this card can't, it's like, if it's anywhere near Greninja, it's going to do well. That's just the truth of it. Whether you like it or not, unfortunately, the Pikachu's going to do well. And um, we've talked about People have, we've been talking about the Vivid Voltage, the Chonkachu. Um, let's pull that up. We'll pull that up real quick. I didn't have that initially pulled up when I started, um, but we will pull it up right now. Oops, if I could type. Okay, so here we go. Now, this card's cool, and there's nothing wrong with it. I Actually, I like this card. It's cool. Um, Vivid Voltage, the Chonkachu, as many call it. And we'll pull up near mint. Let's just make sure we're looking at prices while we're here. This video was not really supposed to be about Pikachu. It was supposed to be more about the other new cards, but this is what's happening. We're embracing it. So this card's a little bit on the decline. Down 11% in the past three months and another 4% in the past month. Zoom out to the one year. Uh, it's down 8% overall. I did have a run-up right here. Went up to 128. Now it's down to 109. So Vivid Voltage as a set is not particularly very good. Uh, we'll, I'll dive into that a little bit, but I want to compare this card to this card. Now, art, art wise, I, I, this card's cool, but art wise, uh, I like what's going on here a lot better. And you have to understand that when Vivid Voltage came out, 
it was a different era. It was a different thing for Pokemon. It was COVID. Things were different. I, I don't think that, especially COVID era, uh, Vivid Voltage can be compared to where we're at now with Scarlet and Violet. I just, some people are saying that this is going to be a flop and this will be the Chonkachu. Well, I don't, I think that the card will do better than this, than 109, personally. Uh, it's going to be too hard to pull. It Pokemon's in a different place now. Uh, also, Vivid Voltage was like heavily printed and anyways. I don't think it's Vivid Voltage at all. I think the set... I think the set is easy to say way better. Let's take a look at... If we're just comparing sets, which we don't even still have the full set, we will take a look at um, cards here. We will sort by um, high to low. Okay. So, in this set... It was, we're just talking art artwork-wise, right? You got the Pikachu rainbow, which is cool. A Pokemon Center Lady, a Pikachu V, that's not that good. A couple rainbows. Uh, nothing that good. It's just some rainbows. And that's it. That's all this set has. This set is this. This Pikachu. Okay? Now, I just want you to take a look at just this card. Okay? And then take a look at even the Pavilion. Okay? But, more specifically, we want this guy right here okay and then the cerulege okay this is not even including paradise dragona so i think i don't i don't think that the comparisons to vivid voltage are warranted i don't think uh i think that if you guys are thinking that it might be a little bit delusional and you're not comparing the eras it's not the same the artwork the artwork the set Vivid Voltage is, <clears throat> talking artwork-wise, you can't even compare it. The artwork in Scarlet and Violet is so good. Um, it's it's night and day difference. Let me know Let me know if you guys agree. I, I understand where you're coming from if you're saying that the Pikachu from Surging could flop a little. Like, I, I could see that. I totally could see that. But if you're comparing, like, set to set, saying it's just another Vivid Voltage... It's not just another Vivid Voltage. I'm not saying it's like Evolving Skies status or anything amazing. I'm just saying that it's not Vivid Voltage. It's way better than Vivid Voltage. There's too many good cards. The art is too good. Uh, different eras. If you're if you're comparing like set to set, I'm not talking even dollar amount. I'm just talking like what cards are in what set. Surging is so much better. So uh, yeah, Vivid Vivid is Vivid. It is what it is. I do. I, it's not like I don't like Rainbow Chonkachu, but um i i don't it doesn't really hold a candle to surging it doesn't really hold a candle to like most of the scarlet and violet era just because of how much better the arts are the the irs the sirs i don't know even even from scarlet and violet base i've said this that this is the best artwork we've gotten uh from any generation ever and if you don't like the Pokemon, that's a different story. Like, I get it. They're really pushing, like, the new Pokemon a lot. Um, but just artwork-wise, it's so good. So, um, anyways, that's my that's my rant, I guess. This was supposed to be about some of the newer cards. And it turned out and it's a it's a Vivid Voltage uh, comparison rant. So I did not mean to do that. I did not plan that to happen. But that's kind of what happened in this video. Um, I think that's going to do it. I just was trying to show off a few of the new cards. Um, that's really just dope. Pretty stoked on that. Um, I'm pretty optimistic about the set. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited for for surging sparks. I mean, yeah, I think it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, let, let me know. Like, once again, if you're this far in the video and you didn't already like comment, do me a favor. Like, let me know your thoughts. Like, I, I like to get the comment section going. And I read all the comments, so uh, let me know what you guys are thinking. Also, if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, um, do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button because I'm doing daily uh, Pokemon collecting and investing content. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.